morning guys welcome to what I ate Wednesday it's a beautiful day today uh, <laughs> I had a cup of coffee in bed this morning Dan had a dentist appointment I think um, so he left early but brought me coffee um, and then I was doing some work emailing parents and everything um, and it's 10 30 now and I was like oh, I should just wait till lunch <clears throat> I need something for lunch for work but then I was like skipping breakfast is so bad so I have my, what my favorite smoothie is, I decided to turn that into just having it with plain oatmeal. Uh, so basically it's just sticking ginger and cinnamon in my smoothie. Um, so I didn't have bananas, but, so it's not really a take on my smoothie, but it's still, it's still the oatmeal, because usually I have oatmeal in my smoothie anyways, and then I put craisins, dried cranberries, instead of, um, the banana. Basically, I was thinking maybe I should just make myself a smoothie, but A, that's a little more work. You have to clean more dishes. You have to clean the magic bullet. Um, and I just didn't want to use up my bananas because I'll save that for when I have, like, I have to go to work in the morning and have a smoothie. Um, anyway, so then my craisins and then I put some ginger and some cinnamon in it and then just some almond milk. So we shall see. It tastes excellent in the smoothie. But I don't know how it'll taste in this. And it's a really hot. Because I then put it in the microwave for a bit. Mm. The ginger definitely isn't as good in this. And I just don't like oatmeal in general. I do put oats in my smoothie, but I just don't like oatmeal. But that's okay. I'll still eat it. I only gave myself like probably about a quarter cup or a third of a, or probably a third of a cup of oatmeal. So it'll do. Anyways, it jump starts my morning, my late morning, just so I have breakfast and then, yeah, it's, it's not healthy to skip breakfast, so that was my main thing. So we did a little shopping and picked up a Starbucks. Um, when Dan and I are together, we just get one and share it. So I don't have that much of it because I would like it with skim milk and we didn't. But anyways, it is one of their new Valentine's Day ones, a molten chocolate latte. So I imagine it just is like a mocha, but extra chocolatey, but we'll see. And they spelled my name wrong, but that's okay. They said Christine in New Bell. Let's try it. Yeah, it tastes pretty much like a mocha. Yeah, I think it's just a mocha and they put um, chocolate syrup on top of the whipped mm -hmm. cream. That's what makes it molten. Probably. Mm -hmm. That's good though, you like mochas. Yeah. <laughs> so it's lunchtime now and we are making a salad with tofu on top. So this is the soyganic smoked tofu. And I'm first making the marinade and the salad dressing. It is just boiling here. I had to make it hot because I had to get the honey to melt because that's my, what makes it a little sweet. But otherwise I have some soy sauce, um, the end of the pure sesame oil, some vinegar, I don't have rice vinegar, so I just use white vinegar, and some lemon juice. So now I'm gonna have that, I'm gonna pour it into here, and then I'm gonna pour a little bit of it back, and then I'm gonna add the tofu. So that's all done now, so we're just distributing it on our nice big salads. And I already put some of the dressing on, on just the lettuce, but now we're just putting the remainder with some of the onions on there too. Perfect. Mm, that's gonna be lunch now. The dressing isn't as good as I've made it other times, but I think I, I think I put everything else in them that I usually do. No, but it's still really good. So I am off to work now and I am bringing a peppermint tea in my travel mug. It's still the Messner or Mesmer brand and it's Valentine's Day week so we're doing lots of Valentine's Day things with my students so that's why heart earrings and wearing pink. So I'm on my way to work now and I'm bringing chocolates for my students this week. Um, so that's for today's so I'm gonna have one. They are chocolate with little like rice puffs. They're okay. I just got from 50s, they're not high quality chocolate or anything, but they'll still appreciate it. So it's evening now and I'm just having a big glass of water. I ended work early um, because the school just had a five day long weekend tying a family day and midterm break. So 
a lot of kids were still away, so I ended two hours early. Some classes were canceled, so that was kind of nice. So then Dan and I went for a run after I came home. So now we're sending water. And then we're gonna be making a spaghetti squash um, dinner. Originally, I think, we had, well, Corey posted it on my Facebook wall. Um, a different version, it was just with a lot of like cheese and ground beef or ground turkey or whatever. Um, so this one we're not using too much fake ground meat, but mostly just spaghetti squash and sauce with just a little beef um, or fake beef. So I have my spaghetti squash and then we have the Gardein veggie ground beef and then tomato sauce. And so Dan's already cutting onions. Oh yeah, they're about to go in there. <laughs> um, and then garlic as well. And then I also have to cut this because I do the easy way and put it in the microwave to cook it um, for about 10 minutes. So we cut it in half and then first just take out all these seeds so then it looks like that after. But just the inside bit. And you want to scrape away some of this stringy bits, but obviously not too much because we still want to have spaghetti squash stringy bits. So just to get that out, there we go. So then I put them face down on a plate, just like that. And then I put this in the microwave for about 10 minutes. Then we put some vinegar in with the onions and garlic, this balsamic vinegar. So I added some mushrooms in there because I felt like mushrooms and then now we're adding just about half of the tomato sauce and mixing that all around. And spaghetti squash are in the microwave. And then we added some oregano, Italian spices, Italian spices and, chili and chili powder. And now we're going to add a couple more veggie, or not veggie, we're going to add spices Italian as well. Spices. Do we want to try the new Creole seasoning I got? It's already pretty salty. So now these are out of the microwave and are extremely hot. So since we're not going to be eating well the outside anyways, um, I just grab it with um, a towel and then you just take a fork and scrape away at all the spaghetti squash. And so then, this is just simmering. So I'm just gonna add it all to here so it gets nicely mixed. If you just wanna go an easy route, you can just add the sauce on top of the spaghetti squash in here and then just mix it as it gets in there. But I wanna kind of mix as much as I can out. And there'll be some leftovers that you'll just get out in your fork. So I'm gonna be transferring it all back into here again but that's okay. Here, and I'm gonna do the same with the other one as well, but in the meantime, we're just gonna stir this around, and soon it's gonna look really delicious. So then we just add this back onto here, and these are on a baking sheet. So that one is mine, and then this one's gonna be Dan's, and he's gonna have some cheese in his. I'm out of my soy cheese, so I don't, <laughs> I'm not having any, but on his. And so we'll do a layer of that, and then a layer of cheese, and then we'll put them both in. But I'll put mine in the oven to broil anyways, and it will get a little crispy on top. So that's his, and I'll top mine up a little bit more. So then I just broiled them um, for like a minute and a half. Obviously, you can tell his looks very delicious with the bubbly cheese, but mine looks pretty good too. <laughs> and so then, it looks like that. It smells really good too, so let me taste it. So that's what it looks like. Ooh. Mm. Tastes exactly like spaghetti. <laughs> oh, that's why I love spaghetti squash. And finding it at such a good deal, it's good. Sometimes I buy them for like seven dollars and it's like, oh, this was only like two something, so yes. So we ate everything up, just the shell, nothing left. 
and it was really good. I'll definitely be making that again in the future. Um, I've tried once before just doing the spaghetti squash on its own and then just putting tomato sauce and like fake meatballs on it and it wasn't as good. Definitely mixing it all together um, before putting it back in there was the best idea. So that's gonna be it tonight. Um, it's well, 8.30 but I'm just gonna have a shower and then edit and that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week on 188 Wednesday and this weekend for weekend vlogging. Bye.